As the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations marks 80 years since its creation, we reflect on eight decades of agricultural development driving transformative change and the land undergirding the agricultural development required for a growing population. Today, land supports 95% of our planet's food production while providing us with essential ecosystem services. And yet, human-induced land degradation is a pervasive global challenge. Land is a finite resource that underpins food security, livelihoods, biodiversity and ecosystem services. From productivity decline to complete agricultural abandonment, land degradation is a threat to food security. A new report, the State of Food and Agriculture 2025, charts pathways to address land degradation across landholding scales. Today, around 1.7 billion people live in areas where human-induced land degradation contributes to yield losses and food insecurity. In high- and upper-middle-income countries, yields are maintained by intensive input use that masks land degradation while increasing environmental harm. We know that farm size also factors into any discussions on land degradation. Of the approximately 570 million farms around the globe, 85% are smaller than 2 hectares and account for 9% of agricultural land. On the opposite end of the scale, farms larger than 1,000 hectares represent only 0.1% of farms worldwide, while controlling half of global farmland. When it comes to crop production, medium farms account for 26% and large farms for 58% of kilocalories provided by crops globally. While smallholder farms account for only 16% of kilocalories globally, those figures represent an impressive 60% of kilocalories provided by crops in low and lower middle income countries. The report makes clear that scale sensitive approaches to land degradation must be carefully tailored with targeted support to sustainably intensify production. Closing yield gaps without further degrading land is key for vulnerable areas of sub-Saharan Africa and Southern Asia. At the same time, where agriculture is already intensified, incentivizing land stewardship while maintaining production is crucial. Fortunately, opportunities are tremendous and positive changes are already happening. We have the knowledge and tools to avoid, reduce and reverse land degradation. Policy instruments should carefully align private incentives to account for public costs of land degradation. Sustainable land management can best be achieved in enabling environments supporting long-term investment, innovation and stewardship. Secure land tenure rights and inclusive governance structures encourage farmers to invest in soil conservation, crop diversity and productivity. Land degradation is neither inevitable nor irreversible. Together, we can safeguard and restore this cornerstone of human and planetary well-being. <laughs>